in a major effort to combat the loss of more than $3 billion of superannuation each year, the Australian government is introducing a new measure to help ensure workers get the superannuation payments they are due. Starting July 2026, employers will have to pay superannuation on payday rather than quarterly, as is currently required. The Treasurer Jim Chalmers and Financial Services Minister Stephen Jones made the announcement on Monday evening, giving businesses three years to prepare for the change. It's estimated that $3.4 billion worth of superannuation went unpaid in 2019 to 20 alone. By switching to payday super, the government believes a 25-year-old median income earner who currently receives their super quarterly could be around $6,000 or 1.5% better off upon retirement. This makes sense when you consider some employers have taken advantage of the delay between payments to avoid forking out the required super. To help prevent this wage theft, the ATO will be given additional resources to detect unpaid super contributions earlier, as well as setting enhanced targets for the ATO to pursue recovery. Treasury and the ATO will also consult on the changes in the second half of 2023 then implement them in July 2026 so employers have sufficient time to adjust to the new measure. The government will also include payment of superannuation in its wage theft laws, which the Australian Chamber of Commerce and Industry is supportive of. Ultimately, this is a great move by the Australian government to ensure workers are not missing out on their super and really delivers on their promise to strengthen the superannuation system and help more Australians enjoy a good retirement. We hope that this measure will help secure the future of many everyday people in Australia. It's estimated that in 2018 to 19 alone, 3 million were employees were affected and $5 billion was foregone in superannuation. It's time to put a stop to this exploitation and ensure workers are being paid the super they are legally owed. Ultimately, the government should be commended for introducing this measure. Making sure workers are being paid the super they should is sure to make a meaningful difference in the lives of these Australian workers and help them enjoy a secure and dignified retirement when the time comes.